Hello and welcome to your August 15th Aquarian Full Moon Report. So today we're going to talk about what's going on around this full moon. So first of all, a full moon is intensified energy. The, the, the circle of the full moon has completely filled with its energy. It's gone full circle. So we have intensified energies, emotional energy, um, heightened awareness, and that brings uh, illumination to uh, endings, changes, it brings you to a point where you may need to um, have extra energy in certain aspects of yourself and your chart to bring forth change. So let's get into it. Okay, an Aquarius full moon on the, on the 15th of August 2019. We all know that Aquarius are the big thinkers of the zodiac. They are about um, conscious expansion, thinking outside the box, revolutionary thinking. So the Aquarians, we call them the um, creative, they're very creative. Um, they don't like to be freedom. Freedom is the most important thing for Aquarians, freedom of the mind, freedom of the energy. So they do thrive on that. Um, they are the big thinkers um, and they like to think what I like to say is down the rabbit hole or beyond, okay? So the only issue with the Aquarian energy is because they're so foreseeing or expansion of thinking, they do need to reflect and not leave behind or not see what's going on around them in the current. So a lot of times Aquarians can be um, come across in relationships as aloof um, with family, friends and places, situations and places because they're always so out there. So Aquarian or that Aquarian energy and it is a full moon in Aquarius, just be reminded sometimes we have to pull ourselves back in and have a look at the current and the present and, and what's going on there. So it's nearly like if we were always looking over, out, beyond and forgetting to look down where our feet are and our surroundings and the people around us. So that's just Aquarian. Um, if you're an Aquarian sun sign, you may be more affected or we all have Aquarius somewhere in our chart, maybe, maybe not. Um, it will highlight a certain house for you and bring forward that energy to that issue whether it's your money, your relationships, um, other people's money, um, creativity, whatever, higher learning, whatever it is for you. Okay, so it will affect people on different in different areas and on different levels. So um, the good thing is though, we have a lot of we oh, we have a lot to get through today. But what I do want to say is this Aquarius full moon energy is a follow on from the eclipse season and the 8-8 eight, eight Lion's Gate, um, the alignment of the light, the intensified energy and light that was coming through the alignment of that for people, which activated a very deep spiritual shift, a uh, change of um, energies, frequencies. A lot of people were going through spiritual awakenings, um, uh, shifting to new levels. Um, there was an initiation of downloads um, with that 8-8 eight, eight energy. And this full moon full follows on from that. So that was like the start. So this full moon's following on from the 8-8 eight, eight, Lionsgate portal energy. Um, so a lot of us experience, um, you know, dizziness, headaches, migraines, uh, shifts, pains in the bodies, backaches, uh, as we tried to, as we went through these spiritual dimensional level shifts. Okay, so the follow on is the Aquarian full moon, which brings expansion of your consciousness, expansion of your levels, okay, awakening. So we're going another level. So the 8-8 was the start. We're moving to another level now. So be very aware. The upper chakras are still going to be highly affected at the moment. Therefore, intensified energies, intensified emotions and, you know, emotions do affect the body. So just be aware of that. 
And please be aware of any new information you are what we call being downloaded with or that you're becoming aware of, okay? Because you have this opportunity now to really go, I want to say another spiritual level, okay? Or shift your vibration or your frequency. And I'm talking about expansion in your belief systems, expansion in your patterns, okay? So there's a lot going on still. Um, and one of the reasons I thought I'd do this video is because I've had a lot of um, calls coming in and questions coming in about the energy because a lot of people are being affected, more so physically, and they know, they're all saying, I feel like I'm going through a spiritual shift or I feel like I'm going through a spiritual breakthrough. But there's lots going on. The Aquarius form. And so for the Aquarians who are Aquarian sun sign, just be aware this could affect you more. The other thing is, um, if you're an Aquarian sun sign, I just wanted to explain this. You are here this lifetime to learn to be Aquarian. Okay? So... It's your ascendant is how you meet life or your rising sign is how you go out in the world and you meet your life. Your sun sign is what you've come in here to learn or be. So if you're Aquarian, you are learning to be an Aquarian this lifetime. So look at all the traits. Look at the shadow side and the positive side. These are the things you need to be working through and learning. Just because you're Aquarian doesn't mean I'm all embodied Aquarian. You are learning this this lifetime. Some of you may be. You may, some of you may have jumped into that and done it before and know all about it. But just be aware of that because I did have someone ask that question. Okay? So some of us are learning to be that sign, okay, or the traits or personalities of trials, tribulations of that sign, okay, and you're growing into it as you um, move through life and its journeys. Anyway, so what is the Aquarian full moon going to do for us? Well, it's going to make you reflect on your core values. So this full moon, there is a big illumination on our core values and how we are living in accordance with them, which is a follow-on from the 8-8 Lion's Gate, your soul's purpose, your soul's desires. Feel, am I in alignment with that? What is that? Am I, you know, moving into different levels of consciousness where I can move beyond that? So there's a lot of quantum energy going on here. And those of you who want to utilize it, that's why this information gets pulled in, uh, put out there. I'd like to share it with you is so that you can utilize this energy. Okay. Um, so where are you living in accordance with all of your core values will be a big issue. But we have got the Sun and Venus conjuncting Leo still in illumination. So that's why our core values. We have, how many planets was it? There are Sun, Venus, Mars, Mercury, all there. And they're all the personal planets. So me personally or you personally. So that is shining bright. That's why we're going into core values. We've got, you know, um, the Leo activity reminds us of both our amazing capacity to shine and be seen, but it also um, will bring and, and shine your light brightly. Okay, the confidence, the strength, the courage, the the go forward, the fire, um, but it also will highlight your fears around that. So that's a good thing to know. So when you're going to put yourself out there in the world, Leo will go, yes, let's do it. But you may have fears come up. Just go in and clear them. There, you. I actually see this as a blessing because when your fears come up, you can actually then clear them. You know they're there and you can work on them and hear them and cliff, clear them and move to another vibrational level. Okay? Shift out of it. Outgrow it. That's what vibrational expansion is. Okay? So... Um, there will be an influx of creativity with all the Leo. We've got Venus there that comes in and, and says, 
Venus rules relationships. So Venus comes in and says, okay, let's look at how we are in relationships. So we're going and we've got Uranus, um, which is all about awareness turned inward um, and healing and mental framework. So patterns, belief systems, uh, what else have we got there? Your your true reflection or your inner true reflection. It's time to step back. You know, is it in alignment with that higher um, true self or vision of self or your highest intent, okay, of where you're heading? So all of or who you are or, you know, who you want to be. So, or how you shine in the world is probably a much better way to say it. So, and Uranus actually helps bring in and allows new patterns, okay? So Uranus will make you go inward, but also allows these new patterns to come in. So any lessons learned through the eclipse? I just want to make point to this. Um, so any lessons, what's coming through is a message. So any lessons learned... Um, through the eclipse season and through, I feel like, the ascension or, or expansion of that energy that people may have felt in the 8-8 eight, eight lion's gate energy, that light alignment, so bringing the light in through the body. What does light do? Clears out, expands, illuminates, brings up life, okay? Regeneration, all of that sort of energy. So any any lessons learned through the eclipse season, the 8-8, eight, eight, up until now, I would say now and even be past the full moon, there is an integration process of recent lessons learned. So be, be gentle with yourself. Okay, we have um, how many? We have one, two, three, four. We have four... Of, Four planets, they're all in the personal planets. Um, we have Leo, which Leo focuses on self and confidence. And um, we have Venus stepping in going, okay, now how are you with our relationships, with yourself, with others, as in the bigger picture as well. So take a step back and look at that. And how I, uh, Venus will also look at how you are spending your time and energy. And energy represents money as well. So um, a lot of these things will be coming into focus and play around this full moon. So let's, we've got a lot to get through here. So um, as I said, with that Aquarian full moon, another aspect to look at this or way to look at this is um, Aquarian will be, that doesn't hang on for too long. So I like this in the healing energy at the moment because it, even if it comes up, you may not hang on to it too long, which brings the expansion of energy consciousness, um, healing, vibrational energy. So <clears throat> excuse me. So Aquarian like to break away from old thinking. That's what we're to master, the Aquarian energy this lifetime, if it's if you're an Aquarian, and, and self-improvement and also this Aquarian new uh, sorry, full moon. Did I say new moon? Um is moving away from what we've been taught. And that's what Aquarius does. That energy is expansion. So moving beyond what you've been taught, be moving beyond what you believe. So that's what it's all about. It's bringing new perspectives, new creative ideas. Um, and you'll have an energy with the Leo and the Venus and the Aquarius to go your own way, okay? You might have that confidence to put yourself out there or want to. You may have that, you know, self employed or do it your way or do it yourself that energy is coming in because um, what it's trying to do is bring in more light um, activate your new downloads and all that energy is coming together to focus on you and who you are and your personal um, journey and your soul's contract now and get all of that in alignment for you to go forward just be aware that I'm. this is my belief, the energy of the full moon, we feel it coming a week before it hits, um, you know, there's a day or two, depending where you live in the world, where the full moon hits. So I feel both those energies, as a lot of people do. They say, I thought it was yesterday and it was today, but they felt the energy. So 
either or a day before or after and i actually feel the energy of the new moon as it wanes we will feel you know there's a week either side of the full moon that a lot of this will be going on so we were in leo season let's just touch on that and we're going to move into virgo season at the end of the month so i do want to mention something about this because a lot of what's going on with the aquarius full moon uh, leo being the fire sign aquarium being the air and the mental and the thinking big and expansion and focus on the personal self and the alignments that have come in what just be mindful with we've got this virgo energy coming in at the end of the month so some of the shadow sides of this is don't push your beliefs onto other people Okay, your beliefs are your beliefs and this isn't the time to be pushing um, or if you're in battle with someone over a belief or a pattern or a system, be it at work or personal uh, relationships with Venus, um, all of those things, someone will have to back down. Okay, this is not the time to lock horns. Okay, so, you know, I'm hearing that song, know when to hold them, know when to fold them, no when to walk. Okay, so if you find that you get into a battle with someone, this full moon, um, someone will have to back down. And that doesn't mean you devaluing yourself. That does not mean anything um, about they won or you let it go or let it happen. You're best to um, take a step back, see what came up for you, value yourself and take yourself out of that energy. A lot of people will be experiencing this full moon are pulling away so if there's a clash of belief systems patterns um another or you know let's say you've got a relationship or a friendship or something going on um if you're feeling a pull away um at the moment or people pulling away we've got uranus coming in pe people are going inward to deal with their stuff um clear heal a realign align get in in get clarity um, with that soul's desire and and um, get in touch with their core belief. So, you know, we've had that 8-8 eight, eight energy activation. We've had, um, you know, the Leo coming in, brightening it all up, confidence, expansion, more bringing through that energy as well. Then we've got the full moon, more expansion, expansion, expansion. Okay, with expansion um, and illumination, things are revealed. So there will be a lot of secrets revealed this, this full moon, okay? Uh, uh, so we'll be seeing that across the board, okay? Now, I wanted to move forward a little bit here because I can talk for ages. Um, that, that Virgo energy coming in at the end of the month. Now, Virgo, we had, I wrote down something like, by the end of the month, and we've got Jupiter going direct, we've got Mercury out of retrograde, we've got all these wonderful planets. That's why we've got all this energy and illumination. But Virgo coming at the end, just be mindful with Virgo. Virgo gets you organized, it's practical, but Virgo can be the perfectionist, okay? So Leo's like, let's go and do it. And Virgo steps in and says, oh, hang on, it's not perfect. Yeah, I'm going to pull back. I'm not going to go forward with it. So don't get into the, that's only the shadow side of Virgo. Virgo love things done properly. Um, they are the perfectionist of the zodiac. Um, so don't go into that, okay? Be mindful. Virgo will make you go over and do it properly and put it in alignment and, and, and make sure and critique it. But don't get into perfectionism. Don't go into the shadow side. So hence the clashing of belief systems and patterns at the moment going on, Aquarian expanding them, or the illumination of the light, the 8-8, eight, eight, the full moon, the Aquarius energy, we've got um, Uranus going in, um, and, and other, all the Sun, Venus, Mars, all the personal planets making us go inward, and that is fabulous energy. 
but don't project it onto people. Don't get into a battle about whose beliefs are right and wrong. Um, that's not what this energy, that would be the shadow side of learning this energy and illumination and what's going on, okay? Um, you're best to reflect at the moment, pull your energy away, work on you, focus on you, um, put yourself out there, but don't go into this Virgo energy at the end of the month and pull back and become the perfectionist of you and your personal and, and everything and anything you're trying to move forward in. We can, it's great to have there, but don't go into that shadow energy, okay? Um, because many of you are having your first awakening or going to another level. Some of you have had many awakenings or just going to wherever you feel you are, the next level. Um, there are some fixed placements. Um, so coming in and that Virgo energy at the end of the month, you know, be mindful of your boundaries. It's about in placing boundaries at the moment. Um, and be patient okay virgo can be impatient the perfectionist get impatient that's the shadow side only um so be patient with yourself you're moving forward your work forward um and really patience is a big thing because people are going through so much expansion and we've got some fixed planets coming in. So people, some people may get very fixed on their ideas, very fixed on their beliefs, very fixed in how something should be. And the Aquarian energy and the light energy is opposing this energy. So be mindful. Okay, that's why you need to understand the information. Okay, some people will be looking at the relationship aspect um, and, and reflecting on how they are or how they've been in relationships. Some of you will be receiving some apologies from people because of this ex expansion of awareness and, and how you are in relationship with others and things like that. Um, don't get too into the ego. Um, apologies, accept the apology this month. Um, but that doesn't mean you have to let someone back into your life. But when you accept an apology, um, you can move on and they can move on. And we've, we've cleared the energy there, okay? And whether you want to move forward with them or just leave it at that, that's fine too. So don't get too locked into the self, um, your own beliefs. And um, remember, it's all about expansion now. Okay, let's have a little look at some notes here. Um, so yeah, we, we did that. Some of you, so I'm just going to recap on a, yeah, some people will find that some people will be pulling away or pull their energy away, especially if you're not seeing eye to eye. Okay, so just recap on, on at the end. Um, some of you will be facing some painful realities, and I think that's more in the uh, expansion of consciousness and how you are in relationships. Um, none of this is to, you know, bring you down, okay? Use and utilize these energies to see it, move through it, move forward in it. That's what these energies are all about. This is what the plan, how the planets work. Many of you, um, yeah, so the upper chakras, I just want to talk about those more, more about that spiritual alignment. So we have we are, your upper chakras at the moment and this full moon, and I would say the next week or two really, are going to be highly affected. There are spiritual awakenings, spiritual surges, spiritual energies, dizzy, headaches, downloads. So just be aware, even though we have all those personal planets, uh, all the expansion, all the light coming in, um, all of that still going on with this full moon. Be mindful that the shadow side can be lashing out. Being critical, being stuck. No, not expanding in your belief system, your conscious, your energy and other ways of doing. Not thinking big enough. 
okay um, secrets will be revealed because as we have illumination and expansion and, and more light and 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 more consciousness things come up okay there is a shadow and a positive and a shadow side to everything um, ask yourself have I been too self too, too selfish or self-centered in relationships or how I do things or too generous some of you are saying I've given too much that it's going to stop so whichever way it falls for you, um, expansion of beliefs and thinking, which challenges people. People go through a detox, a spiritual healing or crisis to expand their consciousness so things intensify. Okay, so that's why we have the lashing out, the, the people, the extra and angry energy sometimes, okay, or, or emotional energy is probably a better word because it could be anger, sadness, any, any emotion. Um, and, and, and on top of all of this energy, you know, the challenge is patience. So where are you not patient? Where are you impatient with yourself, with things, with your moving forward, with others, with these expansions, with these healings, with these transitions? You know, patience. Patience, you know, if you've got an accumulation of all this beautiful Venus and Leo and um, um, what was it, Mars and Mercury all going forward and shining and, and you know, the Leo and the 8-8 portal and you've got some amazing, amazing energy there to leap forward, expand forward. But as we expand, as you know, everything's got to come up and out or change or shift or move. Uh, so transmute, okay? So it's up to you and what level you're at some of you are beginning, some of you are at a more quantum level. Um, this is amazing energy. Don't get lost in it. And if you're going into the shadow side of it, or you're with someone who's going into that shadow side of criticism and lashing out, um, um, they're kind of not coping with the emotional intensity. Um, they are going through a shift, whether they want to or not, with the intensified energy. And so be aware of that. So pull your energy back. Go inward, pull away, let them go through it. Um, with support, of course, okay? With discernment of whether someone's just having a bad day or someone's in crisis, okay? So discernment on that. All right. So... Thank you very much for listening. I hope this helps you around this Aquarian full moon energy. It is amazing energy. We are moving into um, Virgo season. So happy birthday to all the Virgos. And we will do another check-in and chat and see you all again around maybe the full new moon. Thank you.